Okay, grade 11. So in today's video, we are going to do a creator's reconciliation statement. So please make sure that you watch all the videos so that you will understand the process on how are we going to compile our creator's ledger and creator's reconciliation statement. So let's start with our question, guys. Okay, so the question paper that we have is the question paper that was written in Houteni uh, 2021. Okay. They say that uh, the statement received from a creditor Zulu supplier on 28 February 2014 reflect that Zwane Trader owed them 11,000. And according to Zwane Trader, the amount outstanding is only 7,750. Okay. So after that, they say they required, we are going to prepare these two of us. Okay. So. Uh, let's start with the first part of the balance. They said that the statement received from Zwane, uh, from Zulu supplier on 28 February, reflect that Zwane owed them 11,000. That's a statement, guys. Okay? 11,000 is for statement. And according to Zwane Trader, that's our business. They said the outstanding amount is, uh, is 7,750. Okay? We can start here and say the balance of our books is indicated that is amount of seven thousand and seven hundred and fifty okay then when we come here uh, they indicated that the amount that is reflecting is eleven thousand you know that when we prepare a reconciliation the main purpose is to make sure that this balance they are the same as you can see here this one is not the same with this one which means that there is something that uh, happen or something that went wrong okay now let's proceed to information number one a check of 2000 issued by zoane trader has not been recorded in the statement received from zulu supplier a check when we talk about a check it simply means that we are the one who did what who pay so they're saying that we paid amount of 2000 uh, but it has not yet reflected in the statement received from Zulu supplier. This amount was supposed to reflect here, but it hasn't yet reflect, which means that we're going to say a check. Okay, a check of how much? 2000. Okay, so guys, I also want to teach you this principle if you don't know. So when, we, when it comes to reconciliation statement, you have to know that on the debit side, we add on the credit, we subtract. These two statements do opposite. Because we add on the debit, here we're going to subtract. Because we subtract here, here we're going to add. Simple. If you record item here, when it comes to here, it must be credited. They have to swap the opposite side. Okay? Now, the amount of 2000 guys, we pay them, these people, but they haven't yet recorded that we have paid them the amount of 2000 what do we do we are going to credit it check of 2000 this 2000 is subtracting the reason is because guys remember we have paid them which means that it must indicate that we no longer owe them this 2000 it must be minus very simple okay and now transaction number two they said a check in the statement of january account was received by Zwan, by zulu Supply within seven days. Therefore, a discount of 400 recorded by Zwane traders in the creditors ledger must be cancelled. In other words, we recorded a discount of 400. When we record a discount, it's going to reduce what? A liability. But we paid within... Uh, after seven days, they found that they even yet received the money. And they said that no, no more discount. Cancel discount. In other words, we come here and subtract a amount of what? Of 400. Now they said no more discount. We have to do what? To add it back. Okay? Discount. Discount. It was initially subtracted. Now we are canceling. We are adding it back on this side. It's going to be 400. Alright. So guys, now... Every transaction that we do, we have to calculate what? A balance. Now we have to say a 7,400 plus, because it's on the credit side, plus 400 is going to give us amount of 8,150. 
okay 11,000 now because credit is minus we're going to say minus 2,000 and it gives us 9,000 and now we can proceed to another one simple okay another one they say that a return recorded as 750 in the creditors ledger of Zwane trader was recorded as 800 in the statement here it was 800 here 750 okay let's see who made a mistake Zwane trader had miscalculated the cost of goods return this one is the one that we have to rectify they recorded 750 instead of 800 that was recorded here now let's understand they said it's a return of goods return of goods is recorded this side because if we return goods we are not going to pay them anymore we have to indicate by minus which means that it was recorded as minus 750 what do we do to make it minus 800 we have to record different of minus 50 minus 50 okay it's minus 50 minus 50 simple as that okay now we have to come here and calculate the balance it's gonna be 8150 minus 50 and it gives you 8100 very simple guys straightforward i'm gonna make it simple for you all right that's how you do it now so i hope you are enjoying guys and you are learning something please please if you haven't subscribed guys let's just support me subscribe share with friend and like this video thank you so much okay now let's go to number four number four they said an invoice received from zulu supplier was recorded was recorded as nine thousand okay by zwane trader we recorded nine thousand okay and however in the statement here now is it was incorrectly recorded as nine thousand as nine hundred sorry here is nine thousand and here is incorrectly nine hundred now let's check we are dealing with invoice invoice guys simply means that we take a goods on credit and we have been paid them which means that in that case of invoice liability will have to go up if you take something on credit and you haven't paid which means that you owe that person which means that we have to check on the plus side to indicate to show that uh, the liability has go up okay it was recorded as 900 and on a plus side instead of 9000 how much do we have to add to make it 9000 the difference between 9000 and 900 you just subtract you're gonna get 8100 8,100 we are adding it because there was 900 already 900 plus 8,100 is gonna make it 9,000 simple as that okay now we have to calculate the balance okay now if you add these two 9,000 plus 8,100 is gonna give you 17,100 okay now let's check another transaction that we have the last one an invoice of 4500 received from zulu supplier was incorrectly recorded as a credit note by zwane trader remember invoice i said we took goods on credit liability go up and credit note is when you return if you return it's go down liability go down now they say that invoice of 4500 in thousand invoice of 4500 received from zulu supply was incorrectly recorded as a credit note in other words they, they take invoice as a credit note in other words they went to our books and do what and subtracted 4500 here by mistake they were supposed to record it here what do we do now the first step we have to do is to cancel the one that has been subtracted we okay this is the brackets guys i'm showing the calculation it's gonna be plus four thousand five hundred we cancel in the first one that we are doing guys is to cancel the one that has been recorded already the second one we are now recording what our invoice plus another four thousand five hundred the first one guys is to cancel the second one is to record or you can just record a uh, 9000 9000 
is this two when you add them together. So if you say 8,100 plus 9,000 is going to give you 17,100, which means that now our creditor's reconciliation has been finally solved because 17,100 is the same as 17,100 that we have this side. So I hope you learned something, guys. Thank you so much and please go to grade 11 playlist and check other videos, other chapters that I compiled so that you can also learn. So if you are doing, you are going to do grade 12 next year, guys, you can just watch the videos uh, during the December period so that at least when you go to grade 12, uh, you will be very ready because there is a lot of, lot of work when you go to grade 12. So when you get time uh, during the holiday, just come here and watch uh, grade 12 videos so that at least when you start next year you will be doing a revision thank you so much guys i will see you on the next video